Well, if you were driving in downtown Youngstown today, you might have seen quite a few men marching in their suits. First News reporter Chandler Blackman was there for the March of Unity and joins us live now in the newsroom with that story new tonight. Yeah, Keely, today I counted not one, not two, but 300 black men who were suited and booted ready to march. After speaking with a few people, they tell me it's not enough just to march, but to also support one another. We have to come together as a community first if we're going to fix our community. So that's why we asked for 300 black men to come today. No justice, no peace. Four common words that have been uttered by people across the country these last few months. Sunday, 300 influential black men gathered in front of the Cavelli Center in downtown Youngstown for a peaceful march for justice and unity. This was a beautiful, beautiful showing of how black men can come together in a peaceful manner uh, for the cause of good. Along with highlighting racial injustices, the march was also centered around black men connecting with one another. Mayor Tito Brown, along with other influential black men, spoke and gave their voice on how to improve our community. Someone paved the way for me to be here as mayor, but also I want to take my position and pave the way for the next generation coming on. We talked about registering to vote. If you're not registered to vote, you, you're not part of the, the solution. Also, we wanted to come and support our local minority-owned business as well. It just made you feel good, man. Uh, we had clergy here. We had uh, businesses of all kind here, people who were in the arts, people who were educators. Everybody came together for one purpose, to unify. Although Jackson enjoyed the march, he insisted that the black community remain proactive. We need to be active. We need to be moving. We need to be doing something. It's not enough just to march. Um, but we have to come together and really uh, support each other, collaborate, let each other know what's going on in our city, stand for justice, do right, help our city come together. That was the main thing, to unify. Now Mayor, now, Mayor Brown did tell me that this fall there would be a more inclusive march for all men. Live in the newsroom, Chandler Blackman, WKBN 27 First News.